Well, I haven't done a video in ages, and it's time to get back into the shit list once more. You know, if there's one thing that's been pissing me off lately, it's something that just happened the other day. Uh, I'm doing this video at night, so technically it was two days ago, and I'm talking about the doomsday prediction that originated from Harold Camping, a Christian scientist who in 1994 said the very same thing was going to happen. And guess what? It didn't. So let's rewind the tape here for a minute, if I may. This guy, Harold Camping, said that on May 21st, 2011, the world was going to end and... Well, there's nothing that any of us could do about it, pretty much, because Jesus Christ was just going to fucking destroy the whole entire goddamn world. And there wasn't a thing we could do about it. So, Robert Fitzpatrick wrote a book, The Doomsday Code, which, if you live in New York, this thing was all over the place. The MTA subways, the buses, bus shelters, everywhere. This book sold like wildfire, and everybody wanted to read it. Even though it was a piece of crap that was completely meaningless and just was a bunch of uh, ramblings by a Christian madman, uh, everybody uh, believed it and drank the Kool-Aid. Oh, you know, we all remember what happened um, You know, when people drank the Kool-Aid. It ended up being laced with cyanide, and that's exactly what it was in this case. But there wasn't any Kool-Aid, there wasn't any cyanide. But there was a whole lot, of, a whole bunch of ignorant stupidity going around, and a whole bunch of nuttiness. And I gotta tell you, it really just stuns me to no end that people still believe this bullshit, even though it never comes out true. There was also another Armageddon prophecy in the year 2000. Now I don't know exactly who made that one up, but that one was also proved to be false when Y2K rolled around. Guess what? Nothing happened. And that's exactly what happened on May 21st. Nothing happened. And nothing happened in 1994. See, this is the thing that fucking bugs me about the whole entire prophecy. Is that if the man was wrong in 1994, why are you going to listen to him? So his excuse of why it didn't come true in 1994 was because he made a, a miscalculation. A miscalculation? I mean, that's so easy to say that. Uh, he, anyone could just say that they, you know, they could, uh, you know, police officer could shoot somebody and get the wrong man and say, oh, I shot the wrong person. But you know what? You still fucked up. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Because if you're going to make a huge announcements the, like that, don't you think you should make sure that you're 100% correct? You, no, you should make sure you're 110% correct before you get everybody fucking crazy and acting like lunatics. But you know what? It's not really Harold Camping's fault. It's this person's fault. Uh, um, it's no, it's everybody's fault. What am I saying? It's everybody's fault for believing this man. And you know whose fault it also is? It's Robert uh, Fitzpatrick who, who 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 took advantage of this whole situation and wrote a book. The Doomsday Cult, whipping everybody into a fucking frenzy. And you know what? I know deep down, Fitzpatrick, I know you don't believe th this whole thing that Harold Camby said. You just took it to a whole new level. You wanted to put it down in a book because you know people, well, some people, read books and they believe what they read. See, that's the thing. You know what? A lot of people like to call stupidity on other people saying, you know what? Oh, you know what? You're stupid. Go read a book. Well, you know what? If you sometimes if you read books, you can get even dumber. Go figure. I mean, there's a lot of things in books that could fuck up your mind and make you even dumber than you already are. And that's just fucking scary because people are dumb as it is. We don't need books making them even more fucking stupid. But you know, there's literature out there that could do your mind in something fierce. And uh you know, Robert Fitzpatrick, you're just a fraud and you deserve to be tarred, feathered, and then and just and just hanged for your crimes. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is a crime against humanity. Anybody who will whip people into a frenzy like this, yeah, yeah, I know it's the people's fault. But, you know, someone like this, this person is really the fucking scum of the earth. I mean, we're talking beyond douchebag. We're talking about subterranean beings. This guy doesn't deserve to live or be on earth. I mean, like, what kind of purpose are you serving 
if you're going to do something like this. You're going to write a book, and not a book that, that you obviously enjoy writing, unless this guy just in, it enjoys causing a frenzy. Maybe he does. I don't know what Fitzpatrick feels deep down in his heart, but you know what? I don't even think he's fucking got one, because why would you write a fucking book like that? It's just a waste of time, and you're just making people insane. And you know what? People fucking kill themselves over this book. You know, I, I haven't heard anything in the news yet, but I am sure there were fucking suicides all over the place. And you want to, this is what's even more hysterical. Do you know? Okay, so the prophecy was that the world was going to end. So, you know, uh, I mean, there's no way around it, right? So people were busy moving to other countries. Now, how the fuck is that supposed to work? If the world's ending, how you, how does that work? That you're moving to another part of the world to avoid, to avoid, you know, the world's destruction. Everything's gonna fucking get destroyed. Not just the place you're moving away from. The prophecy was that the whole world was gonna be destroyed. So you see, it doesn't even end with you know with people believing it. It's just people's actions and their way of going about things, the way of interpreting things is just so misconstrued to the point where it almost saddens me to the point of no return. Because, you know what? It's just that people, the people in, in this day and age are so fucking dumb, so fucking gullible, that they will do everything that just disregards every sense of logic and... and, and in every type of possible illogical thought just defies it just throws dirt in the face of logic altogether just the, it the mind is not operating on all systems or even half of them even a quarter of them i don't think these people know they're fucking brain dead their fucking brain stem has been severed severed at the source these people just don't fucking get it when they see a lie you know, when the human mind, you know, uh, it comes in conflict with a lie, it should not believe it. But people do anyway. They will believe the most outrageous, unbelievable things because someone told them to. Someone wrote it in a book. Someone who has more money than them might speak a little bit better than them. They, The person who is of inferior... Uh, Intelligence will believe that person without question. And that's really unbelievable to me. I mean, I, I really, I, I don't understand, you know, how someone's mind could be that weak. Uh, I mean, it's almost like Star Wars and a Jedi mind trick. You almost want to laugh that, 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 that somebody could fall for something like that. You know, it, 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 it's like, it, it, it just, it really reminds me of that. You know, it, it's really unbelievable. And the funny thing is, the Doomsday Cold stated that the world was going to end at 12 a.m. Now, what was this bullshit about it had to be 6 p.m.? So it had to be a certain time in New Zealand? I mean, what time was it supposed to be in New Zealand? Was it supposed to be 12 a.m. in New Zealand? I don't know. I didn't read the book. And things were unclear because, you know what, this whole fucking thing didn't make sense from the get-go. So, I mean, almost... in So... Interpreting this kind of doesn't even make sense to begin with. Um, so if you believe this, I feel really sorry for you. And I believe that this is probably a good time to rethink you, your way of thinking. And, uh, you know, you should be ashamed of yourself, of course, because you're a fucking moron. Uh, but you have, a ch uh, you have a chance to turn yourself around. Stop being gullible. Stop relieve, believing everything that you read. Uh, check into things. You know, look at some science. Look at, at, at things from a logical uh, perspective. Not just, you know, your perspective because your perspective is whacked out if you believe that bullshit to begin with. So you should try looking at things from a new perspective. You know, if the things you've been believing have turned out to be lies and, 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 and wrong all the time... Uh, might be a good time to do a complete 180 and, and, you know, look at things from a different angle. This has been Brad Columbia. This has been The Shit List. And uh, I believe I just changed your life. Goodbye.